welcome back to the another video today we will talk about the next phylum that is hemichordata the hemichordata includes the animals which are having the notochord like structure which is called stomochord as the name hemichordata has been taken from these two words hemi means half and chordata means notochord they are also known as the group of the animals or this phylum is also known as half chordates why they are called half chordate because this phylum hemichordata resembles with the chordates because of the presence of notochord but the true notochord is absent here in hemichordata and this notochord which is not well developed the rudimentary notochord is found in all the members of hemichordata and this notochord is called stomochord as you know i will teach you later on about the features of chordata that in all the chordates the chordates have two main features and these are the notochord must be there i will tell you about the notochord actually notochord is a rod like structure present in the embryonic stage and that notochord is finally replaced into the vertebral column into the endoskeletal which are bone either cartilages i will teach you later on all the amphibians the reptiles the pieces the mammals including the human being we all are chordates because we have notochord and also in all the chordates the post anal tail is also present i will explain later on when i will teach you the next phylum chordata but the hemichordata you can say is the connecting link in between non chordates and chordates till the echinodermata as you have started all these phylums from porifera cylindrata platy helminthes esculenthes arthropod mollusca echinodermata till the echinodermata all these phylums from porifera till echinodermata they are said to be what non chordates because they don't have the notochord but in all the chordates you will find the presence of notochord as well as post anal tail hemichordata has been also placed into the non chordates but it has some of the features of the chordates you can say a rudimentary rudimentary means not well developed notochord is found and that's why they are said to be half chordates means why they are said to be why the members of hemichordata they are also called hemichordates because of the presence of rudimentary or you can say not well developed notochord and in this case in this phylum in hemichordata the notochord is called stomochord i have written here a structure similar to the notochord it also looks 
a rod shape in structure it resembles with the notochord and because of the stomochord because the true notochord is absent the rudimentary notochord is found which is called stomochord and this stomochord is found in hemichordate and that's why they are said to be what hemichordates uh, half chordates or you can say hemichordates so i have written here hemichordata hemi means half and chordata that is notochord it includes a small group of worm like animals actually this phylum hemichordata includes the animals they look the worm like in structure like scaries and the you can say the tinea solium that is uh tape worm means they look just worm like in shape these animals they appear they are not differentiated into the like head thorax abdomen these parts are absent i will teach you later on so the phylum includes a small group of worm like animals you can see this is the structure of balanoglossus a kind of hemichordate it looks just like the worm they have the rudimentary structure in the collar called stomochord a structure similar to the notochord this is the collar portion actually the body is divided into the three parts proboscis collar and trunk and this notochord like structure which is called stomochord is formed into this region into the collar region so i have written here the rudimentary structure is found into the collar and which is called stomochord it means the true notochord is absent the true notochord or you can say the developed notochord is found only in the case of all the chordates but here as i told you the notochord like structure is found and that is called stomochord and the stomochord is found where in the collar portion of the body now as where habitat is concerned they are marine they are found into the aquatic habitat and especially into the marine habitat the body is bilaterally symmetrical i have written here the body is bilaterally symmetrical they are triploblastic as you know the triploblastic animals are having three germ layers ectoderm endoderm and in between the ectoderm and endoderm one more layer is found and that is called mesoderm they have the organ system level of the body organization means the digestive system respiratory system excretory system these systems they are found in their body but some of the system they are uh, not well developed but because of the presence of some of the systems which are developed the body organization is up to the organ system level the body is divided into the three parts the first from here up to here this is the proboscis part and from here up to here this is the collar part and this one is the trunk part so the body is differentiated it's very very important that how many parts are there of the hemichordates the three parts are there and which are proboscis collar and trunk the proboscis is the anterior part the collar is the intermediate part while the trunk is the posterior part so the anterior part which is known as proboscis 
the intermediate part which is called collar and the posterior part that is called trunk what is proboscis the proboscis which is the anterior part is a muscular organ and this proboscis part contains not only the proboscis even when you will observe the structure of any hemichordate you will find that in the body of the hemichordates the whole body they are having the projections the cilia and especially the cilia they are too much in this region in the proboscis region these small projections are called cilia so minute cilia they are present in the proboscis region and proboscis helps in the process of locomotion in the process of movement because of the presence of cilia and cilia they also help to trap the food to capture the food from outside so overall you can say the proboscis is the part which helps in the process of locomotion as well as to intake the food from outside or you can say to capture the food from outside so two functions are there of the proboscis or you can say the anterior part of the body and these two functions are the first one it helps in the process of locomotion and the second it helps to take the food from outside now this intermediate part that is called collar in some of this species it has been reported that the collar contains so many tentacles and these tentacles they also help to take the food from outside the tentacles they are having the stinging cells they are protective in function as you know the tentacles you have already studied in some other animals also wherever the tentacles are to be there mainly the tentacles they are responsible for the protection because they are having the stinging cells and tentacles also helps to capture the food actually in between the proboscis this is the anterior part this is the intermediate part in between the proboscis and collar a portion is found a opening is there single opening is to be there and that is called mouth so the proboscis the cilia the captures the food the tentacles also assist in capturing the food and finally where they put they put into the mouth the tentacles they are not present in all the hemichordates the tentacles they are present in some of the members of this phylum hemichordata now the collar is followed by the part that is called trunk trunk is the part where most of the visceral organs or you can say the internal organs they are present in this region they are having the gills they are having other internal organs this part also helps in the production of the gametes it helps in the process of reproduction so most of the elementary uh, digestive system other systems as well as the reproductive system all these internal organs most of the internal organs they are found in this portion that is called trunk so how many parts are there of a typical hemichordate it has three parts the anterior part that is called proboscis then collar and then trunk and mouth which is the aperture lies in between the proboscis and collar now xylem the body cavity the animals which are kept into this phylum they are xylomates means the body cavity is formed as you know the xylem xylem is the body cavity lies in between the gut and body wall so in this case also the body cavity or you can say the xylemic cavity the xylem is found and that's why 
द एनिमल्स दे आर कॉल्ड सिलोमेट्स एज फर डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम इज कंसर्न द डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम इज कंप्लीट मीन्स इट हैज टू डिफरेंट एपर्चर विच आर माउथ एंड एनएस माउथ हेल्प टू इंटेक द फूड एंड एनएस हेल्प टू एलिमिनेट और टू डिस्चार्ज अनडाइजेस्टेड फूड मटेरियल आउट साइड टू द बॉडी सो एलिमेंट्री कैन ऑल और यू कैन से द डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम इज कंप्लीट now the respiration or you can say the respiratory system the respiration takes place by the gill slits the gills they are present in their body and the gills they are helpful in the process of respiration some of the members of this phylum they also respire through their skin through general body surface they can take oxygen from outside directly through their skin through their body surface even they can also discharge the carbon dioxide which is the product of respiration outside to the body means the skin through the skin through the general body surface also the process of respiration can takes place so the majority of the hemichordates they respire through the gill slits while few members of this phylum they respire through general body surface also as far as circulatory system is concerned the circulatory system is not closed type the circulatory system is open type as you know in the case of open type of the circulatory system the blood flow for some distance through the blood vessels and finally they are collected into the sinuses into the cavities and in this case in the open circulatory system the cells and tissues they are directly bath with the blood means the blood directly comes into the contact of the body cells and tissues they are not always flow inside the closed system they may be directly comes into the contact of the body cells and tissues that's why the circulatory system is open type the excretory organ is called proboscis gland here the excretory system or excretory organs they are called proboscis gland and this gland the proboscis gland is helpful to eliminate to remove the nitrogenous waste materials outside to the body so just you have to learn that what is the name of the excretory organ in the case of hemichordates which is called proboscis gland present in the proboscis region or you can see in the anterior region the nervous system is also found but the nervous system is not very complex the nervous system is very primitive means not well developed they reproduce by sexual means by sexual reproduction the sexes they are separate the male and female both they are differentiated to each other and that's why the sexes they are separate while the development is indirect in the life cycle the larval stage comes and because of the presence of larval stage in their life cycle means zygote develops into the first half of the larva then larva is transformed into the adult one and because of the larval stage which is included in their life cycle the development is called indirect and two examples are given in your insert book also balanoglossus and psychoglossus both these animals are included in this phylum that is phylum hemichordata so that's all about the characteristics of this phylum hemichordata what is special characteristics you have found in this phylum once again let me to explain hemichordata hemi means half and chordata means the notochord because all the chordates i will start from tomorrow onwards chordates 
all the chordates like human beings, other animals, reptiles, even aves, which are birds, all uh, they are amphibians, they are pisces, all they are chordates. And in all the chordates, it is very very important the notochord which is present in the embryonic stage that rod shape structure is found and that notochord you can keep in your mind that notochord is replaced further like in the case of mammals in the case of amphibians in the case of reptiles that notochord is replaced further in some of the chordates into the vertebral column into the bones which is the endoskeleton your backbone, your vertebral column, all these bones. Do you know from where the vertebral column has been from derived from the notochord? So the hemicardita, they are also having the notochord, but the true notochord is absent. It means the notochord which is uh, which is found into the other chordates they are not exact like other chordates they look just like the notochord and that's why here this rudimentary in the case of the hemicordata the rudimentary notochord is found and this rudimentary or you can say the not well developed notochord which is found in the case of hemicordita is called stomochord. So have you got the difference between the notochord and stomochord? The notochord of hemicordates is called stomochord. And because of the stomochord, because of the rudimentary notochord, this phylum name has been kept hemicordata means few characteristics they contain of the cardata and that's why they are said to be what hemi cardata or you can say hemi notochord this one is the special feature because of the presence of rudimentary notochord this phylum name has been kept Hemi chordata, and this is the important characteristic feature of this group of this phylum Hemi chordata. And one more you can write the special feature of this phylum that the body is divided into the three parts proboscis, collar, and trunk. They look just like the worm. So these three parts are there. And it also makes this group very special. So all these points you are supposed to write in your notebooks, notebook and write all these topics and learn it. Thanks. Thanks everyone.